When independent states take up arms, they endeavor to impress the world with a favorable opinion of their own cause and to lay the blame of hostilities on the injustice of their opponents. But if nations, accountable to none for their conduct, deem it necessary to reconcile others to their proceedings, the necessity is still more urgent with regard to those who, breaking through every political duty, draw their swords against the state of which they own themselves the subjects. The opinions of mankind are invariably opposed to such men. Their assertions are heard with distrust, their arguments weighed with caution, and therefore it is as necessary for them to adhere to truth in the former as it is prudent to avoid sophistry in the latter. This consideration, however obvious it may appear to others, seems to have totally escaped the attention of the body of men who lately sat at Philadelphia under the name of the General American Congress.